use it to come down and just when that's all you just you know what's in before you. Yeah, no, I mean it's that's one of the best feelings ever, like in the whole world, to to be hot, you know, and for the shots to just keep falling. Um, I mean, I can't really describe it. It's just a great feeling. Do you wish you could sort of at a certain point you're up? points at Rutgers almost like save and channel that for three weeks later. I don't know. I don't think I was wasting it. I think I still got a lot more, but I don't know. How unique is this senior night for you, being a guy who came in later, but still uh, having a relationship with so many guys? I mean, what's, what's it mean to you? I mean, I feel like I've been here for forever, you know. I've had such a great time here, and I just felt like part of the family when I first got here because I'd already known a lot of the guys, coaching staff, you know. Here with Zell and Drew, so it's just like you know. So I mean, it's it's gonna be exciting, but also you know, it's just like a new chapter, turning the page. So, are, are, is it something you'll be emotional about this week? Is it something that won't? Because there's so much to go on this. Right, season right, that you right. Think about. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna hit me, you know, right now. But also, at some point, you know, it's gonna be like it's eye opening, like it's it's over almost. Yeah. You know, so. I don't know. Last game of Spartan or in the Breslin, so it should be. I don't know. It should, it's going to be memorable. The first time you played at Hughes Mesh was the, the Gull Lake semifinal. Yeah. What was your first memory when you walked in the building? That you were? I don't remember. Yeah. It was, I don't know, probably just excited, really excited, you know, to be playing. And um, in the Breslin, it was something huge for me. Were you nervous for your first game here? Yeah, I'd say I probably was. I was probably a little bit nervous, um, you know, because that's just the, the first time, you know, playing in front of this crowd, um, playing with a new coach, all the playing with a new team. It's just like it's always a little bit um, I mean, nerve-wracking, but also I think I was I was just really excited to be here and excited to be part of this. What's it going to mean to you to kiss the floor when you go through that tradition as everybody has since um, I mean, that's just, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just like the end of the end of this chapter, I guess. That's how I put it, you know, um, at the end of a great experience, you know. Well, at least the Breslin and playing in front of our fans and, you know, on our home court. But, you know, it's just going to be a great memory for me, I think. When, when you saw that over the years, did you think that was pretty cool, pretty neat tradition? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's it's different. So I'm excited just to be a part of that tradition. Do you remember the first time you met Tom Izzo? Probably Santa. Um, no, I don't even. Probably coming to camp, I think. How old were you? Uh, probably like eight, maybe. Did you yeah. ever envision playing for him and going to a Final Four? Yeah, when I was younger, I actually like wrote a, like a. We had to write this thing in like I think fifth grade, fourth grade about what we were gonna do when we got to college. And, um, yeah, I wrote about actually playing here, so it's pretty cool. Is it difficult at all to kind of balance the fact that there is a game to play Saturday, there's a team to prepare for, and it's actually a pretty good one? Is that maybe even get lost a little bit coming into this Saturday? Um, no, I think I think we're really focused for this one. You know, Ohio State's came off a big win against Iowa. Um, they've been playing really well, hitting the roll. And, um I think we're all really focused and we got to be prepared for this one, especially with, you know, I think we were prepared last game, but our lack of execution in the first half. So I think we're really, we're really ready to go right now. What's it been like for you to <clears throat> kind of watch Denzel go from when you were kids to now? What has he done to elevate his game to this point? Man, he's, a, he's an extremely hard worker, you know, one of the hardest workers I know. He's done pretty much everything to better himself on the court. And off, but um, yeah, like changed his body, changed his diet, changed his game. Um, just changed a lot of things about himself to make himself who he is now. What do you remember about losing in Breslin as a, as a sophomore? Um, and, and it was that championship game, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I was unhappy. It wasn't. We, I don't think we were happy just to be here. We wanted to win one, um, just like anybody would be. But yes. Pretty much all I remember about that. Because you guys have had a lot of memories on that court. Also, I mean, it's a, it's a rare thing to have that many memories even before you get to campus, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's 
pretty cool. You know, played, I think, played on that court three times. Um, yeah, it was, it was a cool experience to be able to, you know, play on there in high school for state championships and play here for college. It's a pretty cool experience.